Kirby Lakes is hosting their first annual Christmas decorating competition. If you hear this, it may mean you have won. The Crafts Fair is full of competition, each crafter competing for all sorts of rewards, such as best in show and merits. This gives craftsmen their time to show off their amazing talent, whether it's with handcrafted journals, weaving, beekeeping, and so much more. There is practically any award here for any craft at Audubon Park. Municipal Park celebrates art with their 14th annual Sidewalk Art Festival, where people of all ages come out to express their own style. The Left Bank Festival in West Memphis, Arkansas honors legendary R&B artist Willie Mitchell. The American trumpet player is a huge part of Memphis' music culture. Vendor Michelle McMillan is a super fan of the artist. Mitchell, I go to Willie Mitchell's club uh, back in the day, so uh, I don't know what I age myself too much, but about 20 years ago I used to go to his club uh, on Hill Street. The artists that played included Albert King Jr. and the Kenny Brown Band. They performed all day long for the people that arrived, from the young to the old, to enjoy the art, food, and music. Student Ali Cohen goes to Memphis festivals all the time. It's a Memphis music festival. You go to Memphis music festivals to for good Memphis music and to spend time with friends and family. It's all there is to it. Arts and crafts were arrayed along the Big River Crossing Strip that included paintings, handmade jewelry, and fresh honey. The catfish contest offered delicious plates to the public to enjoy and pick their favorite one. Even if you didn't treat yourself to the extra entertainment and just came for the music, it still brought everyone together. With the new and fresh artists coming every year to perform, the festival can only get bigger. West Memphis, Arkansas doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon with their take on what iconic Memphis music is all about. Reporting for JRSM 4629, I'm Vanessa Barron. Crosstown Concourse celebrates unique art with their fifth annual Crafts and Drafts Festival. Many people gather in Midtown to look, buy, and enjoy what artists love to do. And with each tent comes its own story. Angie Howard uses her art as a therapy. Um, it is just something wonderful to sit down and to do one dot at a time. And you can meditate, you can pray, you can just forget everything and only concentrate on where the next dot is going. With all the activity outside, it doesn't stop there. This festival takes itself to the indoors too offering more food, drinks, and crafts to the public. Bigger than it looks, Crosstown made sure to have plenty of room to celebrate every artist that wanted to come out. Abby Crenshaw is still promoting her art and comes to festivals to help get the word yeah, out there. So I started making these illustrations because I wanted to make playful art and just kind of make what excited me. A DJ was outside letting people unwind and dance while food was indoors, letting the festival spread out and have everyone enjoy the sense of community. I made a lot of things that I wanted people to be able to relate to, but a lot of people, so that's why I do the animals that are kind of existential feeling, but it's not like a specific person because different people can relate to the different things that the animals are experiencing. They may have only been around for five years, but this festival seems like it will become a yearly event. Reporting for JRSM 4629, I'm Vanessa Barron.